Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2007 Lexus SC430. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's only got 45,000 miles on it. We purchased it out of California. We can put an extended warranty on it up to 100,000 miles. We can finance it through Cuddle and we welcome trades. Uh, so we bought it because of the low mileage uh, and condition of the car. It's hard to find these in this kind of condition with this kind of mileage. It had an MSRP in 2007 of $68,000. Uh, which is a big number considering that was almost 19 years ago. So it does have aftermarket wheels on it. Uh, it's got new tires on it. Uh, we just put TPMS sensors in. Um, the other ones, the batteries had gone out. So you can see cosmetically, this car is super, super clean. Uh, if you're not familiar with, well, I'm assuming if you're looking at this, you're familiar with the SC430. Uh, most of the people that are going to be looking at this probably already own one and it's higher mileage and they're looking at it to replace them, put another one on it. So we have two sets of keys, uh, which are here. I'm going to open the trunk up real quick. Uh, can I, yeah. Will that open? So there's the hard top, which is back here. You have a partition or a barrier. So this, uh, this goes back into place when the top is up. Uh, if this is not in place, the, uh, the top will not retract. That's a safety thing so that you don't collapse your top on a bunch of uh, stuff in the trunk and damage the top or the stuff in it. You can see by the back of this car. So it was obviously garaged uh, because of the condition of the paint and the trim and the vinyl and rubber around the car so the seals and gaskets typically or the paint will show uh, wear from environmental conditions you can see by the headlights that they're not uh, oxidized or faded or damaged from sun exposure so super super clean car this is a v8 you can see the back is uh, super clean so Super nice leather. I think this is Napa leather, which is an upgrade. There's your door panel. It's got wood trim. I mean, there's literally no signs of wear and tear on the leather. So it looks like Lexus may wear a little better than the uh, the European stuff. So it's not uncommon that you have bolster wear here, especially on BMWs, because it, it, they're sport seats in the bolster and they get rubbed um, down. That's got some very minor stuff on it, but the rest of it is super clean. So. We have, uh, actually I've got three master keys, two master keys and a valet key. And then we've got the books are in the glove box here. And if you're familiar with Lexus, it's the size of a small encyclopedia set. Which is a little bit obnoxious, but that's what it is. So 42,666 miles, you can see the TPMS light. The fact that it's flashing is an indication that it's not just a tire pressure monitor the flashing is an indication that one of the sensors is not good so we do have a full set of four sensors those will be replaced um, before the sale of the car so uh, center console clean you have dual heated seats you've got power which is a, a Toyota Lexus thing which changes how you get off the line you have snow also which allows you to start in second gear so you don't slide your tires around Traction control delete and then you have a just standard automatic transmission with the manual shift mode Up being upshift minus being downshift, which is down. You can see the woods in really good shape <coughs> And clean So for all you uh, <laughs> Older generation including myself you have a cassette player in here. You have a touchscreen interface So compared to the electronics nowadays uh, pretty straightforward um, and basic compared to what it would normally be. You do have uh, Bluetooth, you have um, navigation, you have an onboard computer, you have a bunch of buttons up here, uh, which allows you to close that screen. You have a close down on this screen down here. I don't know why they did that, maybe to protect it from sun, um, but it's nice to have them. And then your display, so it's all touch screen again. Then you have a menu, pretty straightforward navigation, which you've got to remember is from 07 so it is going to be a little antiquated uh, you have cruise control down here on the right you've got cruise settings here on the left to adjust your cruise and then you have volume and audio controls down below that 
and then just your standard stuff as far as uh, wipers, lights, display, all that stuff. Passenger side door is clean. Passenger side seat is clean. And then the dash, again, you can tell it's been garaged because there's no um, sun bleaching or signs of wear and tear. Super, super clean. Now the last thing I'll do is I will uh, put the top open, or close the top. So that, you just push and hold that, and that's gonna activate the top. Fairly straightforward, fairly quick. And typically you can tell the top operation is done because your windows will um, power up into the closed position. And then you should also got a, uh, you get an audible bell. So yeah, there you go, windows are up. There you go, top is complete. Oops. So, there you have it. Super, super clean example. And then you can see the top. So you have a glass back uh, windshield with the frost. Top is super clean. So there you have it. Now if you have any questions or would like additional information, we can be reached at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.